Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 26th, 2022. Well, we have a big day today, and we're setting up for the rest of this silly season week that is going to be pretty intense. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Ooh, we got a crazy week ahead of us now for the rest of this week, so we're going to have to just really be on our best behavior. As a matter of fact, I would, I would kind of say that the market would probably be better served with a psychoanalyst or a psychiatrist than um, a technical analyst because it's really going to be all about the emotion as these earnings reports roll out today. If you caught um, um, yesterday after the bell, there was kind of a late surprise from Walmart saying um, inflation and um, higher food prices um, really affecting consumer habits and you can see it dropped pretty strongly last night it brought down target it brought down um, costco slightly um, it brought down tar um, macy's and other retailers um, everywhere on that um, announcement from walmart suggesting that retailers may be struggling here just a bit and then this morning we've received um, some earnings reports uh, from general motors that um, missed estimates and um, um, Mickey D's that um, actually beat estimates but are not looking all that st stellar here this morning. So as we continue to get these our earnings rolling out here this morning, um, anything is possible. So let's take a look at our um, um, averages, see if we can gain some idea about how we might want to approach the market for today. If you take a look right in here, we still have this bullish pattern. And that bullish pattern is we, we've broken above the downtrend, we're holding above our 50-day moving average, and we're up above some price resistance in the chart. But we do know that with all of the data coming our way, truly anything is possible that we certainly do run that possibility that we could hold that higher low and bounce higher off of here and take off to the upside we also know that with all of the data coming our way we certainly could break back down through those levels so i think everyone's going to have to be very very careful and cautious today and honestly um it, it really is going to be a, likely the rest of the, this week will favor the very experienced intraday traders. Those folks that can move very quickly um, in the market trading short-term charts because I expect considerable volatility. We'll also want to keep in mind that we also have um, the beginning of the FOMC meeting and we'll talk about the economic reports we have coming up um, later this morning. Let's take a look at our moving averages. Here's that what I was saying we have that chance that we could hold in here. So so far we're still holding on to a very bullish pattern but a lot of uncertainty as I wrote in the blog this morning um, tremendous speculation and trepidation is what we're seeing in the market today and um, just that uncertainty as to what comes next where does that next shoe drop so watch that carefully and then if we take a look at our spy really our our, our challenges are going to be pretty much the same um, across the board here this morning with really um, not much we can do technically on it it's just going to be how the market reacts and it's kind of what you believe might occur and how much you're willing to gamble around that belief because that's really what it's going to be um, as you can see holding that downtrend this is a bullish pattern holding above that downtrend holding above some resistance in the chart holding right above that 50-day moving average but again we run those risks where we can either pop off of this and, and be bullish depending on those earnings reports and data or break lower so be prepared for just about anything our qqq might uh, likely going to be the most volatile of the day 
because this afternoon after the bell, we will be hearing from Google and Microsoft, and we know they can be massive market movers. So we'll want to watch that pretty carefully. And as you can see, we have broken that downtrend and we've popped through resistance. But one thing that I would say is there is a tremendous amount of speculation in this chart at the moment. Um, lots of built up energy um, with huge hope that um, these uh, tech earnings will continue to support these prices but I just want to call your attention you know to the kind of things um, uh, that can happen um, this was also being bullish breaking through resistance levels breaking into a potential gap to the upside and how quickly sentiment can change if a company misses now I'm not suggesting Microsoft or Google will do the same but we do have to watch for that possibility. And I wouldn't want to be betting the farm on um, how they might come out this quarter. There's so much uncertainty. So be very, very careful. Here again, those technicals remain bullish, but it really wouldn't take much from Microsoft or Google to really upset the Apple card here and uh, drive us right back down. Um, if they happen to perform well, and that's certainly possible, then we bounce um, off of there and um, we have a very bullish pattern in the market. If we take a look at our IWM, IWM very much the same. IWM kind of follows the Dow um, a lot. And as you can see, um, IWM holding above that downtrend, holding above some price support. And we're hanging in there pretty good on um, that chart, but these uncertain, uncertain data points coming our way could certainly shift this pretty quickly to the upside or to the downside. So be prepared. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX, well, our VIX popped up yesterday and then pulled back. We we're just uncertain, and I think that's the you know the word of the day: uncertainty, trepidation, um, n not knowing what comes next in the market adds an awful lot of emotion, and um, the markets hate uncertainty. So we could expect um, if these results to keep if they come in good and we continue to support um, the market here, you could certainly see this breaking down below this level. But I certainly wouldn't rule out that possibility either on a miss that we really start to push up in fear if those reports continue to be a little bit on the disappointing side. Remember, the McDonald's um, results uh, came in because they raised prices dramatically. Um, so um, that again is changing those consumer habits and probably not going to bode well for the consumer sentiment um, readings later on this week. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 did pull back a little bit yesterday but not so much as to make you think, gosh, the bears are really starting to come back in. Not at all. As a matter of fact, it was more of just an uncertain day. We, we spent uh, most of the day in a wide ranging chop. Really didn't uh, confirm uh, much of anything here, bullish or bearish. And what it does tell us is if we can find reason for bullishness, we certainly have a little bit of upside that we could move here in that chart. But let's keep in mind T2122 is still showing us extended and there has never ever been a time. You go back in history as far as you want to go. Never ever been a time where we have broken through the top side of that move because we, we were limited by 100. So what that means is we have a much bigger opportunity to move lower than we do higher. It all depends on how these reports come out. And I would suspect the upside move would be a little bit more on the muted side. The downside move could be pretty substantial. So um, be prepared and um, plan your risk carefully because truly I, th I believe anything is possible. And then if we take a look at our T2107, T2107 had a nice little improvement yesterday. We're starting to pick up some of those stocks. We've been struggling here with um, those stocks coming up above their 200 day. 
but we got a little push up yesterday in that move. We're still a long ways away from, you know, um, challenging all of these price resistance levels in the big downtrend in the chart. But 21% of the stocks above their 200 day is an improvement. Let's see if they can continue that through this um, crazy week of data. And then if we look at T2108, now T2108 recovered a bit right at the end of the day um, yesterday as we bounced back up. But you'll notice overall we're still working on this downtrend trying to um, repair this now it is bullish that 55 percent of the stocks are above their 40-day moving average but let's keep in mind this is exactly where we have failed before so let's watch carefully for that possibility not that it's going to happen but the possibility does exist and i know no most folks don't want to hear that um, we want to just have the market go up, but we have to realize we're in a different time here where the Fed is actually working against the market. Now, if we take a look, um, I'm not going to take a look at T2101 this morning because I wanted to point out something here in the charts that just continues to bother me as we continue in this uh, pattern. Notice that our volumes remain tremendously weak and I'm not exactly sure what that means I don't know if that's just the uncertainty in here I don't know if it's institutions just providing enough levity in these charts that they're getting people to buy um, heading into these reports I don't know but it does make me nervous and it does tell me that if we have something that misses here in the market we could really see that spike in volume so be kind of careful here if some of these big techs disappoint um, later on today let's take a look oh, and later on this week um, let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today now our economic calendar um, is kind of busy today as you can see we're, we're going to have the FOMC meeting kicking off here this morning European markets are pretty much lower across the board this morning because we're waiting on they're waiting on what what these events mean and how aggressive the fit might be and the thing is there's been so much speculation that they're going to be extremely aggressive and then for some reason all um, the fed fund futures really pulled back suggesting no nah, no nah, the fed's going to actually um you know weaken they're they're not going to be as aggressive but there's a story out this morning now suggesting that they're going to probably sound pretty hawkish so um be kind of careful here now we've got case shiller on numbers housing prices we know could be seeing um, some pullback watch that closely uh, consumer confidence coming out this morning um, that could be an interesting number as well um, with food prices rising so dramatically here um, over the last quarter that could show um, uh, show some stress so watch that carefully and then new home sales um, we know home sales have been declining our mortgage applications declining sharply um, uh, don't be surprised if there is a little bit of um, uh, turbulence around that number as well keep in mind later on this afternoon we're going to have uh, these um, five-year bond auctions and we will want to pay attention to that because the inversion of our bonds continues to point to recession and we know we have a reading on that coming up on Thursday now remember as you prepare into Wednesday it doesn't get any better we've got mortgage applications durable goods orders a big market moving report um, international trading goods petroleum status and then of course the big one of the day um, that FOMC meeting and the Fed chair comments so expect lots of volatility to potentially occur with morning gaps after um, um, the Google and Microsoft earnings report after the bell today we could see substantial morning gaps either up or down so your guess is as good as mine let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today now our earnings calendar is pretty busy 
Um, I, there's no way I can cover everything in the earnings calendar today. So if you want to catch that full list of notables, please click that list or that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog and you can catch a look at all of those potential notables. Well, I've mentioned Google and Microsoft already. Um, how about we look at a few others? We've got 3M that will be reporting. Looks like we're getting a nice report here out of 3M this morning. Watch that one close. We're going to hear from um, ADM, Archer Daniels, here this morning. Nice little pop-up in ADM here this morning. That's helping out. Um, we're going to hear from casinos. Um, looks like Boyd Gaming is looking a little bit on the bearish side. We've got Coca-Cola reporting. A little bit of push to the upside. We've got GLW coming in here little bit of push to the downside so quite a mix here in the morning um, a lot of uncertainty we will hear from juniper um, uh, today um, whoops keep an eye on juniper we're also going to hear from mondelez um, this morning keep an eye on mondelez um, and we're going to hear from a few banks. You probably already heard um, UBS missed on its report today. We're going to have Texas Instruments reporting. We've got a Visa number that will be coming in and Xerox um, will be reporting today as well. So kind of keep an eye on that. A lot of mix of earnings reports and a lot of emotion likely spilling out today. So watch that close. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me that quick favor again, I, I keep asking these favors over and over and over, and I thank you so much for everyone who does respond. Um, if you can click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you can continue to click those thumbs up buttons and leave those brief comments, helps the channel to continue to grow. I am so appreciative of everyone that does that. I know doing that on a daily video becomes a bit monotonous, but I truly appreciate the support of the effort it takes to put these videos out. Thank you so much to everyone. You guys are truly awesome. Let's take a look at a few of these stocks that could be setting up. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're going to have to be very, very careful as we approach um, uh, earnings for the rest of the week. And some of these stocks are gonna be involved in those earnings reports. So Let's watch them closely. Take a look at um, PayPal. Now, PayPal has been coming up here just recently um, in the market, trying to break out. As you can see, breaking that downtrend, breaking through some resistance levels in the chart, trying to push up here. And you can see we've kicked above that 50-day moving average. And there are a lot of stocks out here right now just showing that peak above that 50-day, trying to show us that potential turnaround. The thing is, guys, um, these will be heavily affected by some of these earnings coming out. Watch that closely. If we can hold the higher low here, that's certainly a bullish pattern and we could establish that upside trend here in PayPal keeping in mind earnings are on 8-2 so it may rally toward those earnings reports as you remember I mentioned um, Disney yesterday to keep an eye on some of these um, streaming service stocks Disney in that same pattern pushing up through that 50 holding in there on that 50 day moving average notice the shorter term moving average is coming up to to supply some support so as long as their earnings don't come out um, ugly we have that opportunity that we could bounce off of here and, and move higher um, so watch that close if we take a look at um, some of um, the um, recent rally stocks they got hit just a little bit yesterday um, chewy this is by the way a completed rounded bottom breakout pattern the rounded bottom breakout is when the stock breaks above its 50-day moving average holds a higher low like we did right in here and then we reach out and we seek the 200 day moving average and that that's a completed rounded bottom breakout and now we're getting a pretty substantial pull back in those charts so watch for some of these stocks that have kind of stretched in this relief rally to the upside watch for some of them to maybe pull back you might be as i mentioned yesterday 
might be a good time to be starting to take some of those profits if you haven't yet. Um, or the volatility of this market could punish you pretty heavily if you don't think about taking some of those profits. Now, let's take a look at some of these stocks that are getting past their reports. We um, McDonald's had a pretty substantial rally here um, heading into its earnings report. Its earnings report, better than expected. So let's kind of watch some of these stocks as we get through these reports. If we can hold some support levels, if we can hold on to some trends here in these charts. These getting through those earnings reports may have that um, opportunity to move. Now, we can't rule out the possibility that these big techs really torpedo the entire market. We could have everything looking pretty good and then um, a big miss and some of the big techs and then uh, everything everything moves down along with it. We also want to keep in mind that a lot of the big banks are suggesting that our targets for the downside of this market are still substantially lower. So um, keep a close eye on that. Take a look at that UPS as you guys know I have continued to talk about UPS in here. It moved up nicely, but getting hit here today, again, um, we really have to pay attention to these earnings reports um, on these stocks that you're thinking about trading and buying because my goodness, that you can get punished heavily by jumping in just before an earnings report. Now, kind of keep in mind that um, if we can find in this pullback that we're getting today, if we can find some support in here, then we still have that opportunity that we could find um, that trend and support holding UPS and we could potentially move higher um, in that chart. So watch that closely. So there's a few stocks for you to look at today. What I want to echo out there this morning is to just be very careful, to be very cautious. Be more of a person who is considering protecting your capital today than one willing to gamble on these wild earnings report uh, gyrations that the price uh, that the market is probably going to go through and then that uncertainty of what the Fed is going to do tomorrow could create quite a bit of um, intraday whipsaws and I would expect the possibility of substantial morning gaps uh, for the rest of this week. So be very, very careful and plan your risk carefully. With that, everyone, I want to wish you all the best. Thanks so much for being here this morning. I do truly appreciate it and I wish you a fantastic day of trading. Take care, everyone.